Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat. Welcome back to a new video. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to win within season four with a few techniques which I gathered after winning four games on the run. So yesterday I played Fortnite for quite a while with me and Rain, and I also played a bunch of solo games first. And I want to go over some of the tips and tricks that I did throughout these games. Now it's quite key and quite noticeable what to do within season four because the meta has changed a lot, and that's what I really want to talk about throughout this video. So I'm landing at Haunted Hills because I had to collect some chests for some challenges. I'm actually using the new skin as well, which I really do like these skins are pretty cool but they do glow in the dark quite easily so you will be spotted at a lot of well near enough every single distance so be careful with them they're not my favorite skin to use for like going for wins but they're a cool skin in general so i just decided to use it now the first kill was a bit rusty because it was my first game on but oh well you do get these kills every now and then but this guy was just wasn't the best of players so he didn't manage to hit me so it was a pretty easy kill that one so we won't talk about that one too much but let's keep moving on because later on in this game, my game starts to pick up and I do start to get some pretty sick kills, which I usually wouldn't pull off. So let's keep moving through. I'm just going to speed up the gameplay throughout Haunted Hills of me just looting loads of stuff. The idea of Season 4 is if you want to get high kill games, you want to be going Dusty Diva or Tilted Towers or places like that, and you can get absolute tons of kills there because they're the two most populated areas currently that people are landing at. Even Risky Reels has dropped off a little bit. I dropped there a few times a duo yesterday with Rain. We were getting to about four people there maybe maybe a little bit less sometimes just one duo so maybe six sometimes it depends but you weren't getting that many kills but if you go in dusty or you go in tilted you're going to be getting up to about probably about 10 to 20 people on solo and even on duo and squad you can get that same amount now tilted can be low in numbers depending on the angle the bus is coming at but if you're going to be coming over Tilted, Tilted will usually have about 20 people in and same with Dusty. Places like Pleasant Park and Retail Row still come in that populated area, but they're not super populated like they were when the game originally dropped. So what I've done here is I've pushed through Pleasant, I've managed to grab a bunch of loot, got a few shotguns, a few ARs and stuff, got my chug jug and my potions of near enough full so i'm in a situation now where i can kind of push people i've got enough resources as well and i see this guy building up towards me so i knock him down straight away i miss a shotgun shot there i switch i'm using my double pump here but with a heavy shotgun rather than two pumps so what i'm doing is i'm just suppressing this guy and building cover on my stairs usually when i build ramps i go ramp uh, I go ramp wall, ramp wall, like that one and ramp pushing. But in this situation here, I just didn't really have time to react to that. So I just had to move up very quickly, keep this guy at bay if I could. So personally, when I assault people, I like to play more of a passive style of play. I don't like to full on push them because you can push them quite badly and unfortunately you can end up losing the fight now the guy i'm fighting against here is actually quite a good builder i noticed that when i was fighting this, so i had to be a bit careful what i was doing but i kept keeping the height and this guy didn't really understand where i went so i switched to my shotgun and get an easy shotgun kill off there so that was a nice and easy kill pretty simple that's what you really want to do you want to focus on your building and make sure you're building right don't be building fast you just want to build right get that height and once you've got the height you will be able to get an easy kill from any sort of angle if you roughly know where they are listen out for the footsteps and stuff and you will have a good chance now there i was trying to get an rpg but unfortunately i didn't have the resources to trade in for the rpg so i didn't manage to cop that but it's all right we're going to keep moving through with our shotgun we've got a heavy shotgun and a pump i was pretty happy in this situation because i had a decent amount of resources i saw a guy building in front of me then when i just went across the loop late so i kind of just left him i could have shot at him because i knew i was going to be well i was basically going to get consumed by the storm i knew he'd be out here somewhere and unfortunately well luckily he was towards north rather than where i come out i get behind him i miss that heavy shotgun i hit him with the next one I hit him with the next one after that then he starts to build so i build up to his structure build above him i know he's probably going to come behind me so i place a wall straight away i jump over unfortunately i do miss that jump shot but it's all right so what i do now is i'll switch to my pump because it's more of a close range shotgun i know he's around here somewhere i build a wall again to block him so he can't get up to me i go behind him wait for him to jump into my shotgun shot and boom what a nice an easy kill i knew that was going to happen because he couldn't turn in time he was going to go right into where the shotgun was going to be and i got the shot off pretty easily again another great kill from me moving on throughout the game i consume the chug jug here because i see a spare one you can't stack them so i note that i use it to get my health up to max and my shield up to max and we keep pushing through as far as we can so we're now on three kills decent amount this isn't a mad kill game and i know you can play super like super super aggressive on solo but the things with that you can get up to like 12 13 kills and 
I can do that, but sometimes I just don't get the win. Personally, I like to play more of the style that most people are going to be playing on Fortnite. Most of you out there most likely aren't going to be playing aggressive, like 100%, like super aggressive. You're just going to be playing kind of a standard game of Fortnite moving through, and that's the audience I focus towards. There's a bunch of people out there who probably play super aggressive, and yes, I can do that, but a lot of people struggle to do that, so I kind of keep away from that because it is difficult to do if you're not used to it. I will be bringing out a few videos on the aggressive style of play at this moment in time. I'll just keep playing the way you want to play to win on season four. If you still haven't had a victory royale this season, this will definitely be some good techniques for you guys. So when I'm getting closer to fight here, you can see I'm putting my wall in front of my building. I see there's a fight going on here too. Now this is a super aggressive play for me because there were two people already fighting on solo and I kind of just joined the fight with a three-way fight. I could have just waited patiently on this ramp. They didn't know I was here, but you know, I thought I can win this fight here. I've got a pretty good position. I've got good weapons. I've been getting some good shotgun shots off. So that's what I'm doing right now with my scar. I got one kill there easily with a 70 headshot. The first few shots were quite inaccurate. Then what I do here is I try and shoot down the guy's structure. I focus on the bottom of it. It's a weird angle, but I managed to hit it eventually and make sure he's not on top when I'm trying to shoot that down. And then I see he takes a little bit of fall damage. Noting that fall damage, I managed to build up a little bit. He kind of builds his little base here. I hit him again with the shotgun, only for a low amount of damage because I think it only hits his foot. But now I'm in a good position where I can kind of get an easy shot off him. And there we are, a perfect heavy shotgun. The good thing about the heavy shotgun, it's got a decent range on it and um, i like to zoom in with the heavy shotgun but now i'm in a little bit of a sticky situation i'm under here and i can hear movement around me it sounds like some guy was trying to like do what i said but be the fourth man in the fight and come in at the last minute and get the last kill and get all the loot so i hear him around i build up straight away and what i do is i consume my chug jug i was a little bit nervous about doing this because i could definitely hear the guy around but i managed to get it like turtled up underneath the bottom of the base he didn't expect me to hear and it was a clear opportunity for me to chug jug up because he just didn't know where I was. So as we keep pushing around and building, I'm kind of looking out for the guy where he could be. A little bit of an epic fail there because I kind of trapped myself, which could have been bad, but I'm just checking around where the guy could possibly be. I don't think he's going to be up there because I didn't hear anyone above me. So I'm in a good position now where I've locked down. I haven't managed to loot up yet because I was a little bit nervous about it, but that's all right. We don't always need to loot up. I see another chug jug. So that'll be the third chug jug this game I've found, which is very, very lucky. You don't usually come across three jug chug jugs in a game quite a rare item to find so as i keep pushing through the guy i don't know where he went but i believe i predicted that he probably went northeast because that's the sound like of, of the footsteps where they were coming from so i kept going this way and i don't know if this is the same guy but i do bump into another guy in a moment so i noticed someone in that like tower up there i can hear sniper shots coming past me so i've got to keep running and making sure that guy doesn't manage to hit me Keep running side to side, guys. Don't run straight when a sniper's shooting at you because if you run straight, they're going to have a high, well, definitely a high chance, a higher chance of hitting you easily. Me and Rain have been testing this a few times. There's a few snipers out there that can hit you if you keep running from side to side, but coming across one of them is pretty rare. So just keep jumping and moving side to side. Most likely, they're not going to be able to hit you. So after not being too sure where that guy actually went, I decided to go towards Lonely Lodge. The reason I decided to do this because I saw it was in the circle. Most likely, Lonely Lodge is not looted. For some reason, not many people land there. It just seems to be one of them spots. It's probably the it's probably one of the least populated areas on the map. I see some guy kind of wandering towards the border. I think this player here was a complete noob and possibly wasn't the one that was at me before. This guy just didn't seem to know what he was doing. He was kind of just wandering around. He, he's probably one of a, like a really new player to Fortnite. And unfortunately, I did get the kill on him which was just quite a lucky kill but you know you do get them kills every now and then when you come against a player who hasn't really played before i do feel a little bit sorry for them but i just killed him nice and easily i didn't like to troll him or anything so i got him pretty easily he was walking into the storm so i don't know what he was doing but then i decided to loot lonely lodge there's a bit of chests around here. I get a few bits of loot there and then, but nothing major really. Just a few items just to help me out with the future as I move on. So what I've done is I've managed to stay here for the last two players and there has been, it gone from four to two. So now it's in a 1v1 situation. Knowing that I have a 1v1 situation, full shield, a chug jug and nine minis and two campfires, I'm kind of in a position now where I can possibly easy get the victory royale just from taking the guy out by doing a build battle. And that's what I said to myself. I said, you know, we can do this just by by building and once you get the hangar building pretty well you will be able to do this really easily so i see the guy moving just over here to southeast well i hear a few shots there he is i get a few shots off unfortunately i miss and this guy gets quite a lot of damage on me which is quite surprising i didn't expect his shots to hit 
that easily. And then by the looks of it, he's firing in some grenades, I think. So there he is again. He's down below me. I hit a shotgun shot off him. I'm now in a position where I can kind of build up again. And what I do is I just keep outbuilding this guy. This guy, I knew he wasn't a builder as soon as I started to build like this. I just knew I had an easy advantage. The guy himself, he didn't really know what was going on. He's just around firing more grenades at my structure, trying to break it down. I've got some easy shotgun shots off. There's one. Switch to my uh, pump now. Get one miss there, another miss there. I'm just hitting the structures to try and like threaten him. I'm pushing in that direction. He tries and gets all. He's so confused what's going on. And there you are. I managed to get the heavy shot for the win so yeah that's it for this video hope you guys have taken some information from that which really can help you guys out win in season four if you are struggling i will be bringing out a few more videos related to winning in season four hope you guys have enjoyed don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe if you are new around here stick around for daily fortnite content and once again this is postbox pat signing out